yes, the two new characters is General Petrovsky, Petrovsky, who I know for certain is in this. I don't know if the other one is. Now, General Petrovsky is a general for Cerberus. He is working for the Elusive Man and working on the um, creatures that they're actually trying to create. They're experimenting on these creatures. And they've come from the, the other side of the Omega Relay because they were accidentally released them. What stupid heads! <laughs> They're pro-human, okay, and they experiment on these things, and they let them loose Acci accidentally. Sure. Lovelies, I believe you so much. Well, I, I like him as a character, because he's f evil. He says he's not, but you can tell he's evil, and it's just cool. And then you've got another new character, which is Nyreen. And she is the first human Turian we can ev we have ever seen. I just felt honoured to be able to witness that. I mean, Jesus Christ, it was amazing to see what they look like. And they don't look particularly different. But they have a slim face. They don't have the whole bulky neck brace sort of thing. And they don't have a thick neck. And they're very slim. Slimmer than male Turians. Surprisingly, they all look slim to me. But, um, yeah, I really like this character, her, Nyreen, her name is, and she has a past history with Arya, actually. She was originally from the Turian military, but she, because she has biotic powers, they sort of stopped using her, so she quit, and she had to find a place to just try and put her work to something, um, related to this. So, and she found Arya. Good choice or bad choice? We still don't really know. But she, in the end, she's actually quite grateful to Arya, she tells um, Shepard. So yeah, um, another new character. It's not really a character, but they're two new creatures. One is the Rampart Merc. Is how you say it? Yeah, these Mercs are a pain in the butt because they like to get in your face. They have armor on. But you can shoot. <laughs> they put up wall guard things and they always come through these barriers that Cerberus, Cerberus have. But these guard things they put up do nothing. They die anyway. Boom, boom, boom. And they're dead. And then you've also got the A. I don't know how to say it. Is it any written in my notes? Adjutant. I don't know. I actually don't know what it's called. Hopeless me. But, yeah, there's new creatures that remind me of brutes because they come in packs, but they also look like those creatures from Mass Effect 2 that would be a pain in the butt and shoot funny things at the ground and you would fall back and your shields would be lost. They didn't do that. They shot balls. <laughs> it's dirty. No. No. That's really cr I'm being creepy and it's bad. But yeah, that's the, that's the new people involved. But they also introduced a new gang. Not really new. We heard about it in... Put it back there. Mass Effect Retribution. Oh, The new gang is called the Talons. The Talons are featured, again, like I said, in, in Retribution. And they are not really mainly featured in that, but they are talked about. And now we actually get to see the Talons... And pretty much, they're basically all the same. What's different? Maybe they spray paint the tea everywhere. It's not a big deal. God. I mean, seriously. Oh, I spray paint a tea. I'm different. They're basically like the blue suns, the... The ones with the watch, <laughs> and the other ones. I suck at remembering... You know, the ones with the yellow and the ones with the vultures and stuff and the blue suns. And then you got the talons. They're all the same. Just these ones, the talons are a little less legal. It's not really possible. But they're, they're a little less legal. They're everything that's new. That's all new. Now I really want to talk to you about Arya and Shepard's relationship in this. Because I don't think it makes much sense. I really don't. 
Arya asks Shepard for help, obviously, and asks for help alone. Arya doesn't trust your your group, even though <laughs> she's because she's trusted them before in Mass Effect 2. A, a point that I still can't remember. But yeah, um, I don't understand why she doesn't trust them now. Maybe they're a little different, but most of them are still the same. I mean, I could bring Garrus if you want. Yeah, what do you want from me, woman? But turns out, Arya is so damn super powerful, you don't even need yourself. Like, Arya is just kick ass on her own, but she's way too powerful. She doesn't, she cannot make up for two extra people. That is ridiculous. She's actually called in the thing. You know, when you upgrade, you can upgrade her too. And she's a biotic boss. She's the boss of all biotics, pretty much. She's the, she's the, she's the man. But, uh, yeah, she's way too overpowering. I did not, in oh, I'm spinning. I did not enjoy her overpoweringness at all. I mean, God, give me something where I have to work with. Jeez. And then when they put Nyrene on your party, oh, psh. You are, like, saved. God. No one, I didn't even see the point of Shepard being there, specifically because it's not about Shepard. It's about Arya. It's about this face. And her saying, I'm going to kick your freaking ass. I'm going to kick your butt in. Because I don't like you, and you're a pain in my behind. And I want you to get the hell off my land, foe. Get the hell off my green, foe. Ugh. Yeah. Well, I, I still don't understand. Basically, Shepard's just there to provide support when Arya doesn't even need it. You know what would have been really cool? They could have done this. Easy peasy. Play as Arya. <laughs> they could have done it like this and have you play as Arya. I mean, that would be freaking cool. That, I keep saying freaking. That would be awesome. How cool would that be? I mean, playing as Arya, having a chance to use her powers, not just clicking the button and making her powers happen. That would be awesome. I'm serious. That would be... I would play that. I'm sure... I mean, please comment below if you would still play that. Because, come on, who would not want to have a chance to play as Arya? Let me know. Please do. I love to hear your comments. It's always nice. So that was a kind of a shock thing for me because Shepard's there for support, morally and mentally support and trying. I noticed a lot. Shepard's trying to change Arya. No, I didn't. I tried to appeal to her better nature. I tried to appeal to her renegade side. So I was renegade and I wasn't happy being renegade because I don't like being renegade. But it paid off in the end because it was a scene I really wanted to get. Because I heard about it and I thought it was really funny and I would love to get it. And I did, so I was proud. Let's talk about my favourite moments that occur. Ah! My favourite... Sorry. I keep getting this message that says no audio, but I'm t still talking. There's audio. Trust me. I know. Um, let's talk about my favourite moments that occur during Omega. I'm actually really not thrilled about this game. I wasn't really enjoying it. Another bad. It was kind of boring. Just saying. Okay. So... Um, one of my favourite moments, or more than one moment, it happens a lot, is Arya's <laughs> few tough love moments. There's a scene with Arya and Irene, and she called her babe. I thought, pardon, uh, pardon me. I thought it was kind of funny. I don't know how I thought it was funny, but it was, it was weird because she called her babe. Kind of odd to me. Yeah. Um, another of my favourite moments is a scene where you are about to um, shut down the power or open the power back up again. And General Petrovsky is trying to tell you that you're going to sacrifice so many lives and his voice is so sultry. 
so, to, so leave it alone, but then Arya's telling you, hit the bloody plug now, and then Irene's saying, don't, because you're going to kill so many civilians. So I'm like, oh my god. What do I do? Is someone gonna die? What's gonna happen? Is she gonna, is Nairin gonna die? I don't want her to die. I like her. So I'm like, that was an intense moment because I'm like, oh crap, what am I do? I don't, did I save? Oh shit, I didn't save. <laughs> and then, but then I didn't do the Renegade action. I didn't kill the civilians. Which would, it would have killed the civilians, so I didn't do that. Yay! But Arya didn't lose her. <laughs> I had to be really Renegade, actually, to be honest. I, in my opinion, to get her. To, um, confide in more my shepherd. Oh, I need to show you my shepherd after, just letting you know. I'm going to show you my shepherd because you, peop uh, a lot of you want to know what my shepherd looks like. So I'll show you. Another one of my favorite, favorite moments is when you meet Nirene. That is one of my favorite moments. Meeting Nirene and Arya, their connection, they really do know each other well, is kind of cool, is really cool. Because it's like, I haven't seen you in a while. Why are you back for? <laughs> but really, she never left. Did she? Shh. And my last favourite moment that occurred during this game was the very last scene. And this is a sp spoiler to those who don't, who haven't played. But I'm about to show you the clip of, this is my favourite clip ever. <laughs> it's retarded, but it's funny. It's kind of, I like it. It's cool. So this is the clip of my most favorite moment that occurs during this game. Take a look. Shepard, I never thought I'd enjoy having a partner. Thank you for not interfering. Killing that man was deeply satisfying. And thanks to you, I have Omega back. 